welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about 20 ninja food items that you can substitute for in your regular grocery store yeah 20 ninja food items that you can find in your grocery store so you literally don't need to go to the african store for these items you can just shop them alongside your regular grocery and you sure don't need to cargo from nigeria to get these food items so if this is content you're interested in hold that thought don't go anywhere and i'll see you in a bit welcome 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 back to my channel my name is Hamida and I film about lifestyle in Canada loads of vlogs a sprinkle of Korea and a sprinkle of story times from time to time if this is your first time here please make sure to subscribe to this channel to join this beautiful family if you're an existing subscriber thank you thank you so much for all the love that you keep showing me on all my videos I appreciate it Okay, so a little bit of backstory. I posted a video a while ago uh, talking about how to avoid excess luggage. Essentially, if you have excess luggage, how to pay the least amount possible for your excess luggage. And I also unbox items that I brought from Nigeria in that video. So I saw that that video was doing well uh, in recent time or is doing well in recent time. And you know, I tried to bring a little bit of twist to that video. You know, everything I said in there is still valid. But um, at that point, I'd spent just four months in Canada. Right now, I spent 18 months in Canada. So best believe that actually, no, 20 months in Canada. <laughs> so best believe I have, you know, a lot more experience, you know, concerning Niger food items and where to source for them in Canada. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the grocery edition. And in subsequent videos, I'm going to talk about the Chinese store edition. So make sure to stay tuned to watch that video. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So number one item is your one and only agege bread. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you are Niger, you understand agege bread, like our sweet Niger bread. So in your regular grocery store, you'll find different types of bread, wheats, whites, all sorts, pumpkin, pumpernickel, all sorts of breads. But if you want one that is similar to Nigeria Gege bread, you buy anyone that has brioche written on it. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'll put a picture right here for you. So instead of a Gege bread, you can get the Italiano brioche. That's the one I get. Or you can get La Fure Doné. I don't know. I feel like I'm modeling these names. But I'll pick the pictures here for you guys to see. So number two... Mm. you guys don't beat me number two is Niger indomie chicken noodles i mean Niger indomie chicken noodle is very bland like it's just dead it's very sopa i'm sorry um so if you are cargo in Niger yellow ch indomie chicken noodles or you're buying from african stuff you're wrong period spending that amount of dollars you're very wrong please opt for mr noodles Mr. Noodles is affordable and it is good, like it is decent. So you can offer Mr. Noodles spicy chicken, spicy beef, they have oriental, they have mushrooms, like they have seafood, I think. So Mr. Noodles, in, ter in terms of like texture, is definitely, you know, close to the regular Ninja Indomie chicken. And also, I'll just add the bonus here, you can get the... There's a type of ramen noodle that I like. It's really nice and spicy. It, for me, it is greater than Indomie. So I'll put a picture here also for you to see. Ah, but I'm sorry, there's still no alternative for Indomie onion. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I haven't found any alternative for that one. So that one is still superior. That one is still worth cargoing. It's still worth buying from the African store because I still do. Okay, so indomie onion, no substitute. Okay, the next one is your regular egusi, like the egusi you used to make a four egusi soup, all of that stuff. Literally, you can get it in the regular grocery store as you see it as pumpkin seed. So you want to look for Joe's roasted in shell unsalted pumpkin seeds. So typically, you see like pump, pumpkin seeds in in green but this one is roasted or salted roasted in the shell 
you find it in in Walmart, you find it in the international aisle. In no fruits, you find it in regular seed and grains aisle. So feel free to get Joe's um, unsalted um, pumpkin seeds in place of egg Okay. Then granuts. <laughs> I mean, Niger granuts is king. It's king. Love it. But then yeah, we also have peanuts here. Like it's gold. Okay. So you can get an. Trust me, it took me a while to find the perfect substitute for this one. I should have added in the beginning of the video that this video is about the substitutes that work for me. It might not work for you, I might have other substitutes. Please also feel free to share it in the comment section. But as for me, these are the substitutes that I use and they work for me. Okay, it's not it's not a debate, you know. You know, feel free to do what works for you. I'm just sharing this for those that had no idea, okay. Um, so yeah, basically for your ground notes, you would find um, PC has a brand, of course, the PC brand in the Loblaws and whatnot, which you find in all grocery stores in Canada. It's called the roasted, basically any roasted unsalted peanuts. This one, they've removed it from the shell. Right, so it tastes like you know those granules we buy in Nigeria that is roasted, that is still in the brown shell. I'll attach a picture here if I can find that you still have to peel when you open the shell. Right, in this case, they've peeled it. We have those exact ones, by the way. I'll also put a picture here, but this one has been peeled, it has been removed from the shell, and it is also salted. If you like salt, feel free to buy the salted one. They have some dipped in honey and all of that, but me, when I want the Ninja, Ninja taste. I go for the roasted or salted peanut, okay? And then the next one is your null cubes. First of all, null cubes, I mean, I used to bring it from Nigeria. Like, if you watch that video, I'll link it up here if anybody has not watched it. It might be useful for you when next you go to Nigeria and you want to bring food items. Null cubes are very problematic. Like, it can be in my container for months and it will still be hard, like rock of ages. No, 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 no. We're not all about that suffering, right? Okay? So when you go to your African side, instead of using this null cube or hustling to get this null cube, how about you get this powdered null bullion cubes, okay? It is powdered, easy to use. Please be careful, you because <laughs> the measurements can be a bit tricky. But they've got different types of null bullion, if not even not. I know there's Nesquik. Nesquik also has uh, powdered chicken um, stock you know um seasoning all right so instead of this how about you consider getting this or this okay then the next one is milo 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 hmm. so here's the thing though you'll find milo in grocery stores the same way you find indomie in grocery store but i beg in the name of god do not buy the indomie in grocery store or you shall regret it but hey feel free to experiment it i'm just here to tell you don't make that mistake okay so it's the same way you find milo in grocery stores it's not the same as milo you are used to in nigeria don't even get it twisted okay so if you want something similar to milo you can get carnations um hot chocolate you can get nesquik hot chocolate you can get tim hortons hot chocolate okay so they're like three different alternatives basically any hot chocolate will do the trick for you okay and the next one is your regular curry and thyme seasoning Oh my god, I can't believe I used to like bring in Ducros and Kofu from Nigeria. <laughs> Gino curry, Gino thyme, bay leaves. Oh my god. My dear, you do not need all of that. You have it in your regular grocery store and they taste the same. Curry is curry, okay? I mean, I can say that because we're in the West. In the Middle East, don't go and try it. The curry is not curry. So please, <laughs> if you want the Niger curry, just buy the regular curry from um walmart you can buy the great value curry powder you know that is really good that's the one that i use same thing goes for thyme the same thing goes for bay leaves bay, bay leaves are you know very universal okay then the next one is our regular garnet pepper that's like atagungu atagungu i i still bring it you know when i see someone coming or when i want a cargo i put it in there but when i am out of atagungu even when i still have it i tend to use cayenne pepper that is spicier. Obviously, paprika is just like um, grinded tatashi. And the tatashi here is not even pepper. So you get what I mean? It gives you the smoky flavor, but it doesn't, it's not spicy, okay? So if you want the spicy level close to a tango, you would want to get your cayenne pepper. There are different brands of cayenne pepper. As long as it's cayenne pepper, you're good to go, okay? 
Then the next one is your tin tomatoes slash your sachet tomatoes, okay? Don't get it twisted. Sometimes I go to African and I feel like, you know what? I want to make jello fries and I'm feeling like I'm rich. I'll just pick a Gino tomato can or whatever or dairy cow. I, if I do see cargo where I bring in like close to 100 kg, best believe I can put in those things, right? But like when you're here and you don't want to make the trip to have cancer because of just Gino tomato paste and also in terms of like cost. You want to get the Alimar crushed tomato. You also want to get the Unico. It's really good. You want to get Unico crushed tomato paste and they do the job. Just good. Okay. Then the next one is your beans. I know there are different types of beans, right? Even in Nigeria, but I'm talking about drum. In terms of like, no, drum is, is just beans, right? You can get a substitute of black eyed peas. You find it in Walmart. You find it in every grocery store actually. So I'd also put a picture here for those that don't know what it looks like, but I've not found any replacement for a while, do you? Honey beans, I haven't found any replacement for that. But if we're talking about drum beans, beans that you can cook with your like with white rice, beans that you can cook with normal beans porridge and all of that, beans that you can use for moi moi, then you want to get the black eyed peas. For 900 grams, it's about just five dollars. So it's really you know cheap considering going to Afghanistan, all of that. Next one is our Titus 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 sardine. You will find the actual Titus sardine in grocery store. I bought it last week and it was like four, four, five dollars, right? But if you want to go cheaper, which is the one I used to buy before, I buy the two even till now because I use Titus for something else and I use the other one for something else, right? So there's a brand called the New Brunswick sardine. There are like five different variants. There's the one in crushed peppers, there's the one in spring water, which I mistakenly got it delivered to me when I ordered from Walmart and it wasn't bad, it tasted okay. That, but the one you want to buy that's similar to Titus is the New Brunswick, <laughs> New Brunswick soya, sardine in soya oil, okay? So it tastes exactly like your regular Titus that you're used to. Okay, but feel free to explore the different types of new ones so exciting. They're really good. Okay, then the next one is our Exeter corn beef. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'll put a picture here that we usually buy in Nigeria. Here, you have the alternative of getting Hereford corn beef. And if you're a Muslim, Hereford even has like halal corn beef. Okay, so there are two different types there's halal and there's the regular corn beef. So feel free to get that instead of cargoing those things from Nigeria, okay? Next thing is your peak evaporated milk. My evaporated milk family. <laughs> Three crowns, peak milk, all of that, all of that. I hate to break it to you, but you don't need to cargo all of that stuff, okay? You can literally substitute it with great value. That is the Walmart brand, evaporated milk. I love that one. Like For me, it's the closest to the Nigerian evaporated milk, okay? So you, you want to get the great value evaporated milk or you want to get carnation evaporated milk as well. So those two things do the trick. Next thing is your plantain chips, okay? Plantain chips, of course, you can cargo from Nigeria. You can have friends bring it for you. That's a flex, by the way. But you can also get some grocery stores. Papa John's is the most common. So I'll put a picture here for those that don't know Papa John's. So if you're new to Canada, just look for Papa John's, okay? It's in every grocery store and you will be okay. Then the next one is water leaf, bure, water leaf you use to make vegetables and all of that. You can easily substitute that with spinach. So you can get the fresh, fresh spinach or you can get the one that is already like chopped and, you know, squeezed. Um, you can get different types that's already sealed. Or you can get the fresh one and you chop it up yourself if you like stress, okay? <laughs> so yeah, you can replace water leaf with spinach. And then our regular green, tete, shoko, you can replace it with um, yu choy. It's a type of like an Asian vegetable, but you find it in grocery stores. So yu choy or kale. Okay, if you want to eat healthier, you want to get kale as well. But like in terms of like looks and taste, usually is good. Then the next one is our regular checkers custard. Best believe that 
I found out about this just like a few minutes before I filmed this video. I'm like, no way. A friend sent it to me. I'm like, wow. So yeah, fresh off the press, instead of Cheka's custard, she said she has been using this since she came to Canada. So um, yeah, it's called the Bird's Original Custard, which you can also find in Walmart and in other grocery stores, okay? Then the next one is <laughs> sweet potato, sweet potato. Sweet potatoes, eh? <laughs> I used to love it in Nigeria and then I came to Canada. I was so happy the first time I went. I was like, do you want french fries or sweet potato fries? And I'm like, oh, I want sweet potato fries. And <laughs> they brought it to me and I couldn't eat it. Like those orange ones. Some people like it. Weird people, by the way. <laughs> I don't like it at all, right? So you can get an alternative. It is called the sweet potato yam. So it's, it's, it tastes just like the Niger one. It is like burgundy in color. I wouldn't say purple because it's a purple one. Don't buy that. This is like burgundy in color. I'll put a picture here for you to see. It's burgundy in color, just like the color of beetroots, okay? Almost reddish, wineish on the outside. But when you peel it, it's white on the inside. And it tastes exactly, you know, like your know, Niger sweet potato. So you can also find that in Chinese store, but this is grocery store edition, so you also find this in grocery stores, okay? And I'm almost at the end of my list, but hey, who's counting? <laughs> so the next one is your regular meat pie. Uh, yeah. So Niger meat pie, I mean, I appeal to fellow meat pie makers because in case you don't know, this girl just started making meat pie for clients, okay? But I'm, I'm not there yet, okay? But like, we've not gotten to the stage where we find meat pie in grocery stores just yet, okay? But there's an alternative, and that is the Jamaican patties. It tastes like meat pie. The texture is a bit different on the outside, but it, it has the same beef filling, which is really good. You probably wouldn't find the potatoes in there in the filling, but it's like pure beef wrapped in a dough, and it's really good. You find the frozen version in the grocery stores, in the freezer i'll put a picture here for you to see what jamaican parties look like you find it in no fields i think you also find it in walmart so if you're feeling like if you're feeling perkish and you want nigeria snacks feel free to grab a jamaican party whenever you go to the grocery store and for the very last one on the list this is not exactly grocery store but i just wanted to chip it in is our puff puff Mm. Yeah, I know some of us don't like the stress of going through, you know, making puff puff, even though we can make it, and there's some people that cannot even make it, okay? So if you are feeling perkish, once again, and you want Niger snack, you want to go to Tim Hortons and get the plain Tim Beats, okay? So get the plain Tim Beats from Tim Hortons. It tastes like a mixture of puff puff and buns in terms of, like, consistency, but it's really good. And also, if you feel like you want donuts, the regular round ninja donut. You want to get a plain donut from Tim Hortons as well. Okay? So with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you learned a thing or two here today and you haven't subscribed, God is watching you. <laughs> but please consider subscribing to this channel if you watched it this far and you haven't. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned a thing or two so that YouTube can recommend to other people. Be a brother's keeper, okay? And also, ultimately, to be a brother's keeper, please share this video with your friends and family who moved from Nigeria to the West or even to Canada because they can relate the most. And I hope that you find value in it. If I missed out something in this video, which I'm sure that I did, please put it down in the comment section so that other people can learn as well. Okay, so I'm going to be pinning comments that I see concerning substitutes in Canada. Anyways, the, stay tuned for the next couple of videos because I'm going to talk about the Chinese store edition. Okay, so Niger food items, Chinese store edition. Um, so... Anyways, I will see you in my next couple of videos. In the meantime, stay happy and share, you know, the vibes. Bye, guys. <laughs>